It's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's up. Here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Presenting the challenger, El Terrible. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Silky. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Straight punch is good. Oh, that was beautiful. Just out of range with the straight left hand. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. But you have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. So both guys land. Uh Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage and reach. And he comes through with a big knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Gotta watch his neck. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Huge knee lands from the close. Final 
separate from the clinch now. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Here, another strike lands there. Ooh, big shot to the body. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh. Big right hand there. Yeah. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. But to be whipping like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, he can't just get the air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. Oh, how about the ankle pick there? Well, if the single leg, the double leg's not working. Go deep into the well, and the ankle pick was there for him. Now. Boy, you gotta keep digging into that toolbox. He has so many different attacks. We saw that right now with that beautiful ankle pick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive all-offense start to this one, and that is exactly the way it's played out. Oh, he dove with the punch and he lands. Nice positional control here. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Terrible. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams,